and welcome, it's me David from 1UP Gaming and we've got the first episode here today E.T. the Extraterrestrial Now, I had a quick go at this game and yes it's bad it's really bad, I think it was developed by one guy for about three weeks or something stupid um, but it doesn't excuse the fact that they got the game in rights for the for this game in July of 1982, um, giving the developer just five weeks to develop this game in time for the 1982 Christmas release that it actually came out on. And it's like, what the hell can I say about the game? I I have no idea what the hell I was doing. I really had no idea. The game itself looks substandard I wouldn't even guess that was E.T. Uh, it looks like a scorpion maybe but anyway this was cited as the actual massive video game crash in the USA now I say the USA because where I'm from the UK we didn't actually have a gaming crash. Um, Atari 2600s and 7800s and all those, yes, they were available, but most people actually had like a Sinclair ZX Spectrum. I, mean, I had my little Spectrum, I think it was a Spectrum 128 plus 2, I believe, like a big massive thing with a cassette tape. Or they had the Commodore 64. Um, that's what we sort of had over in the UK, and we never experienced any sort of crash. I, mean, I think the Spectrum that I had, I think it was still getting games released up until like 91, 92. So, that was good. And I guess in America it was much more, I want to say dilute. I mean, in the UK it was very diluted, it was like a mix of everything all together. In America, it just seemed like there was the Atari that crashed and burned, and then a few years later, Nintendo came in, and that's basically all you had. Whereas in the UK, we had sort of like the home computer systems, and they slowly started to go away. And then we got the Amiga, that like Commodore Amiga, the so the Amiga 500, the Amiga 1200, and at that sort of time, um. We had the the actual Sega came out, and we were having the Master System, which did really well over in the UK. It sold massive compared to the Nintendo and Sega system, and we were playing that sort of games until the Mega Drive came out, and then that's when the home computer systems sort of slowly died off in the UK and then we moved on to more of the so-called standard gaming sort of systems so then we had the, the Mega Drive or the Genesis as you guys call it over in the US um, the Super Nintendo or the SNES and and then it just slowly went from there to you know like the PlayStation, the Saturn and the 64, Nintendo 64, and we just kept up with like everyone else since. But going back to this, it's an abomination of a game. It's like I couldn't work out how to get out of some of the pits. I have no idea why you, there's pits in this game. I've never, I can't remember the movie that well, but it's just bad. But anyway. I hope you enjoyed watching this and we're going to have a few more of these videos coming soon. So I think we're going to try and do every Wednesday, 12 midday noon. So please subscribe to the podcast, subscribe to the YouTube channel, um, like it, share it, that sort of thing. And we'll be back next week with more. So thank you so much. 
Goodbye. They do handheld PCs, merchandise for you and me. Contests that you gotta do. The prizes are for gamers who <laughs> going hard all day. We believe the boys cause you're just that great. Can't lose as much as take your certified badass when you play. I bet we one up gaming. I bet we one up gaming. I bang with one of gaming, drop more hits once I'm famous, the best that's what I aim is.